first, the breaking news I just mentioned. Turkey, in the last few hours, has struck targets in Syria in response to the earlier mortar shelling of a Turkish border town which killed five people. Live to our Middle East correspondent to get the uh, latest on these uh, fast-moving developments. Paula, hi there. What do we know about the scale of uh, Turkey's retaliation in the last hour or two? Well, the information that we're receiving at this moment is that Turkish forces launched artillery attacks against Syrian targets. This follows a mortar bomb from Syria that landed in a southeast Turkish village earlier in the day. Now, it landed in a residential building, killing five members of the same family and wounding another nine. The Turkish prime minister has said that the Turkish response is in line with the rules of engagement. Now, for some time, we have seen an escalation of tensions between in Turkey and Syria. So certainly what we're witnessing now is just an intensification of this. At the same time, what we are hearing from Turkish leadership that they will not allow what is a perceived attack on their territory to go unanswered. At the same time, Ankara is calling for an urgent meeting of NATO. We know that the Turkish foreign minister has already spoken with the NATO chief as well as with the head of the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon. Now, that NATO meeting is scheduled for later in Brussels. There is, however, some growing concern that Turkey, as a member of NATO, has for some time been calling for a no-fly zone to be implemented in Syria. And the concern is that it will now use this latest incident as justification to renew that call, which many are saying will not only see a no-fly zone, but could pave the way for foreign intervention in Syria. Paul, well, we're going to talk about uh, this a little bit more with Jeremy Sultan, another guest we've got lined up in a second. But, of course, it's not the only troubling development in the last 24 hours, is it? We've also witnessed these uh, terrorist bombings in Aleppo too, yeah? Certainly, what we have seen is several explosions rocking the Syrian city of Aleppo in the north of the country. That is the commercial hub of the country. The explosions were several minutes apart. They occurred near the main squares of the city. And according to eyewitnesses and to what we saw, there was a massive crater in one of the roads. The facades of several buildings were completely torn apart. Now, it is unusual to have car suicide bombings happening in Aleppo. Now, by all accounts, the explosions were caused by car bombs. We've witnessed an increase in such attacks in the capital city of Damascus, but the last time that we really saw huge car bombs happening in Aleppo was back in February when some 28 people were killed. Now, it does have all the fingerprints of rebel groups that have claimed responsibility for the recent surge of car bomb attacks in the capital city of Damascus. What we are seeing parallel to this is a call by the Free Syrian Army just last week where they said that they would increase all their efforts to free Aleppo of Syrian regime control and to this account there have been reports that Qatar, have, Qatar has sent nearly 200 million dollars to the Free Syrian Army to help them achieve their goals. So a lot of concern all around that the fighting in Syria is merely intensifying. Absolutely. Paula, thanks for bringing us up to date there. Paula Slear, our Middle East correspondent live from Tel Aviv.